What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Much Game. Mike here. I'm going to get right back into part four of my Game of Thrones playthrough from Telltale Games. So left off, I'm supposed to choose a sentinel who I trust above anybody else to make my decisions as Lord Ethan. And I'm going to pick Sir Roiland. If so I can up. fucking talk to him. Swing left. Sorry. And I'm purely picking him just because I'm trying to see what happens if I just do nothing but stand up to the dicks in the show. Say the things that you want, you wish people would say to them, do to them, in the actual show. I need a sentinel. And this guy just wants to stand up and fight back against the Boltons and Ramsey Snow and all that shit. So I'm going to pick him. And everyone here knows me. In the last episode, I basically told Cersei to fuck herself and blah, 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 blah. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. Oh, no, I remember. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. I think he's actually in love with me. So. I think your father would be proud. Your words are wise, Sir Roy. Daddy would be proud. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. <laughs> I will consider them as I make my choice. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Uh... Tonight. At the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. I bet if I gave it to Duncan after talking to him about it, he would get all pissy. Yeah. I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord, but are you sure? Yes. Course. What if I tell him I am going to, to but I give it to um, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make his Duncan? Right. What would happen I'll if I told him I'm going to do it, to do it then gave it to Duncan? Would that start a fight? I kind of want to find out, but I'm not going to. Just because there's enough shit going on. Where am I going? Um... I'm not even going to talk to Duncan. I'm giving him the silent treatment because he sent Garrod. And I'm the only one who wanted Garrod to live instead of Roderick. Slash and parry. Slash and parry. Talk to you. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? I already did, whoops. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Good. See that you do. Sure. Yeah. That's a really ominous music. Or maybe it's supposed to be calming? I don't know. You may sit. You may first get to me my Cheerios and then sit. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. The choice there is was clear. one man who stood above all others. I'm just rubbing it in his face now. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Don't get cocky, Duncan. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. You also have a cooler name, so you win. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Okay, thanks for your input. Now, too bad it's too Sentinel, late. What do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We'll deal with we him. Devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I know this. Snap. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from Stop all of us. Stop this bickering. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Neither will I. 
got really intense out of nowhere. Is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. That is a valid point. Every man who can you make a skinned man on the wall your fucking the flag. Fill his boots with piss. That kind of does it send much more of a message than, yeah, we're just going to come and skin you. Have us flay. Sorry, Flay. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Gentlemen, please. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. I don't think you know what he wants. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We will My fight. sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? We'll find my out. Lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Eh. He has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. It's a more interesting route. I want to see what happens to Ramsay Snow. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. I'm Be thinking... I pop out of a cake. Semi-naked. Sing a song. Probably, oops, I did it again by Britney Spears. Um, and then, you know those little popper things? You pull the string, Yeah, everyone, like, circles him and does that, and then someone stabs him in the fucking throat. And meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. It's Ramsey Snow. That's what he deserves. Lord Ethan? Uh, oh. I will meet him at the gate. I'll make him Very wait. Good, my Lord. No bread and salt. Men. men, we hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. Yeah. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my Lord, but you are far too young to be the Lord of this house. You're yeah. likely to get us all killed. Not another word. I'd hoped for better from you, my lord. Oh, he just had to have the last word. Someone go spank him. Or give him time out. Something. Apologies, my Whatever son. you did back these. Take three of his fingers. Him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate. We just, I know, we, we just talked about that. Our ironwood. Or our bread no and salt. What, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Or the gate? Can we paint, can we paint flowers in the gate or something? Make it look pretty and nice for him? There will always be those who question your leadership. Dab which him in is the face. why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. So you're saying he's a raging asshole. He always protected you and your sister. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. And that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength, too. So he's a raging asshole. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. And then what, ripped his throat Asher out? He knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Oh, okay. Much better. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. I need Asher my big hesitate. brother back. Acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps. Especially now. It didn't help the Starks. They kind of got betrayed. By the people with swords who were standing beside them. I'm trying to do what's best for this family, what this family needs. 
Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Who the fuck is Malcolm? Yeah, Fine. send him. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. We do need Asher. So I, I want to stick Asher on Ramsey Snow. That would be cool. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know Although we can't stand alone. You the one the downside to this game Mira is that with us we can't really have much influence because it does draw in, you know, main and well-known characters from the show. And if it hasn't happened in the show, it's not going to happen in the game. That is probably the only thing I don't like. Walking Where's Dead it? from Telltale, they you didn't really have characters from the show. They had a few cameos, but none actually involved, really. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been there? You pervert. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. And then I took a picture. And sent it to all my friends. I Actually, I tweeted you know, it. I, and it used the I hashtag, let's be like, honest. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I That's a Jersey Shore things. reference, and I Things really apologize. For you. How can I trust you? There are spies everywhere in King's Landing. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. How do you know? I, I really must go. I'm Please friends with the queen to be. I know people who. You know people who people walk loudly. To help you. Oh. That was really dramatic. Is it really necessary to walk around with the helmet on, like completely? in the middle of the day, just while you're making your rounds. First off, it's gotta make it harder to breathe. Also, a little bit harder to see. Plus, that thing has to get hot. That is metal. Metal conducts heat very easily. And it's sunny and shit. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? Oh, fuck him if he's angry. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us. But I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. We will prevail. Plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Filling a goat at oh, him. Approaching, my lord. Sorry, I've been playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and I had to sit on a throne and judge a criminal who, his crime was, he was flinging goat carcasses at my castle walls. Yep. That was revenge for me killing his entire tribe and his son and all that stuff. He flung dead goats at my castle walls. Something wrong with your gate? It doesn't open for dips. I meant to say dicks, but I said dips because I was also going to say dipshits. Didn't work. I'm sorry. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Dude, you're like two inches taller than me. Fuck you. Okay, maybe four. Now let me in. Little piggy, little piggy, let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Yeah, but it's ironwood and stuff. It's special. Thank you, my lord. For some reason. Why is it called ironwood? Is it strong wood? Or is it like actually special a wood? Token for the new warden of the north. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. How do you know? Our most skilled craftsman. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? Yeah, it is. <gasps> Fucking psycho. Stab him right there. Bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. That's right there is kind of why I like Ramsey and hate him at the same time. He is... Just nothing. He's a fucking psychopath through and through. Clinically, a psychopath. And. But at least 
he doesn't really care who he's going after. He just wants to have fun and flay people. Is it wrong that I like that kind of character? Ah, oh, my neck is twitching. Is this really our entire city? House Forester, literally a house. Look at that. More forest. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. That's just creepy. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. He's a we'll dog see. chasing cars. He doesn't Best. think, he just goes. Let's see. That's a terrible joker impersonation. I'm sorry. Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say. Refuse. I only kneel Fuck to the king. You. Is not the warden also deserving of your respect? Nope. But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. Pretty much. See? You bastard. Fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. How are they the traitors? Your the Boldens the are the ones that betrayed their wardens. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields. Chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same. Make for us. chamber pots out of wood. My father has promised as much to the king. Not sure you, you should do that. Make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. Oh my God! It this was again. A forest squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Lord Whitehill is a liar. That's not how it happened. Lad? A liar? He's a Whitehill. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. What's that? The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? No. The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them. You cut them down. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Yeah. They Do basic bitches. The we swag. Years or the next 50 generations. The little Lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord White Hill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. So it's apparently oh, fucking Iron Chef. Of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. No. You douchebag. They'll help maintain the king's peace and make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Oh, fuck you. I should have said bar the gates then. But yeah, you probably would have been probably would have said something like, Too late. You have a man you trust? My son. Griff. Griff. Sounds like a douchebag. We'll lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. That's do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Royland. Where are all our soldiers? Where are our men with swords? This little forester. Where's all our people? You're not as far as I'm seeing, we have like eight people in this fucking house forester. Where is everybody? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? Yeah, but I look Gary. Oh. oh, twins. 
but like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Get it? Nah, I never it's because they sister. have sex. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord Ramsay, that's enough. Can I stab him? Can I stab him yet? Let me stab him. Do you like hunting? Oh no. Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. <laughs> yeah, bitch. What are you gonna do about that? I suppose you can stay. Good. Aren't you the bold lord? Yeah, punk. <laughs> oh fuck, never mind. What have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Is that game over? I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. Did I just lose? Did I do something wrong? Ethan! He keeps going. I certainly feel better about all this. However, okay. the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. That's fucked up. On top of all the Take the boy as your wall. Oh, good god. If they give you any trouble. Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Wow. House Forester is new House Stark, apparently. So did I lose or not? To continue, is that part of the story that it continues? Okay, it's continuing. Let's find out what happens next. I need some popcorn. Where's the pop? Ah, fuck! I don't have popcorn. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house yeah. needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you flat out refused. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Like you. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home that Asher? again. Our house will not fall. Asher's coming back. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Yes. Are you prepared? Please, Ashlyn, just start slicing through, motherfuckers. Okay, let's episode one. Iron from ice. You and fifty-two percent left bone behind. So the majority of people are assholes like me. You and twenty-six percent swore loyalty to Marjorie. Okay. The rest of you are assholes. You and 19... Okay, only 19% of us uh, decided to take his fingers, which... <sighs> You're all pussies. 30% picked Royland as a sentinel. Good God. That is a large majority that just wanted Duncan. And plus the large majority that only wanted Roderick to stay alive and not Garrett. Uh, you and 30... Most people met Ramsey in the Great Hall, so they were trying to, you know, kiss his ass and stuff like that. But it doesn't work out well that way either. Yeah, so, well, this is Blaine. Thanks for watching. Uh, as soon as episode two, yeah, because it goes season, so, yeah, episode two. As soon as episode two is out, I will get to playing that. Um, I absolutely cannot wait for it. I think I mentioned this in my first part video. Uh, the Walking Dead from Dale to Hell, the first season. I haven't actually played second season of that yet. First season, absolutely loved. The only game that beat it out for game of the year for me uh, when it came out was Journey. I think that was around the same time. That was the same year, right? Journey on the PS3? Yeah. Anyway, so I'm really excited to see where they go with this, because this was a very promising intro, especially given that it's definitely got that Game of Thrones feel to it, considering you get stabbed in the neck at the end, and you're the new lord of a house. You literally just got, you took over being lord because the last lord was killed. 
and now you're killed. So it's definitely got the Game of Feel, Game of Thrones, Game of Feel, Game of Thrones feel. So kind of just hope they don't screw that up, but I don't really think they're going to. Good start. Can we see what they have next? See you guys next time. Bye. Rock, rock, rock.